All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Direwolf 1.16, 20, something like that. Anyways, guys, last episode we had a, a spooky person in here that I have yet to be able to find. It is very spooky. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to forget that person because they're not important or whoever that thing is. Anyway, uh, we went ahead and got 30 sawdust made up. I went ahead and looked in the recipes for the precision sawmill. And sticks were one-to-one, -one. so we had a lot of sticks, so we did that. No need to waste logs. So yeah, we have seven, seven of the cardboard boxes. Uh, that was a little bit uh, spooky, you know what I mean? So now we're going to go ahead and go to the nether, and I've already located a nether fortress. I built a bridge, so we're going to go ahead and sprint to it, because there are two spawners there. So as you can see... We are in the nether. And I forgot to turn the fog back on. I'm sorry. I was trying to locate one, so I turned the fog off. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to make our way over there. There's a gas. Please don't shoot me. All right, so we uh, we've made our way over here. Uh, we do have some glowstone right here, which is cool. Uh, but there is a spawner just on the other side over here. Let's make it before they spawn. Perfect. All right, so now we can go ahead and break this. Yep, and I do have a gold helmet on, so we're not going to be messed with, hopefully. Uh, and there should be another one. But we're going to go ahead here, right click, remove. This is quite a big one, but it was a little hard to find. I actually had to use the help of the mini-map in order to find it. So yeah, there's another portal, or not portal. I keep calling these things portal. I don't know why. Oh, jeez. There's no... We're going to go a different way. Yeah, here it is. Got it. All right, that makes two spawners. Perfect. Now, I would eventually like to test out a theory of mine that if we bring a skeleton spawner into the nether, like if it will spawn wither skeletons. I remember that being a thing back in the day, but I don't know if that's a thing today, you know, in, in this mod pack. So we're definitely going to be trying that out once I do... <gasps> ah! Once I do find one. Alright, we got some amazing... Another wart here. Ah. Got a little bit of here, a wither skelly. Must be above us. Yeah, I think he's above us. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check out this chest here. Wither rib. Ooh, gold horse, horse armor. I wonder if the horse armor works the same on the horses like it does for us. You know how they... We become friendly to the hoglin or whatever. Piglins. Pig mob. The mob. Hello. Jeez. That was sloppy as heck. You know, having another flint and steel wouldn't be a bad idea on me. I said those words out of order. <gasps> Hello there. Whoa, it's a party! Make them shoot each other. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort. I mean, I am wearing... Oh, it's the helmet, probably. All right, I got him. Yeah. No more surprises. Ooh, iron. And iron horse armor. Very cool. Anything else down here? Nope. 
Ahí. Oh, dear lord. Okay, yep, we've already been there. Yep, it's uh we got two spawners, time to head out. Maybe just a little bit of glowstone. All right, now the trip back. Alright guys, so we got the two spawners here, which is perfect. Now we need to go ahead and make some of these conveyor belts. And I went ahead and killed a whole bunch of cows. Their their sacrifices will go down in history. Uh, so yeah, we need to make a bunch of these. Uh, so we're actually going to be putting both of these spawners in there. So, uh, I want to see, do we have any like spikes in this? No. Iron spikes. Hmm. That ain't that expensive. We might try out these and see how they go. Powered by redstone, damage on contact. Uh, we do have a vacuum hopper here, which is perfect. All right, so we do have the necessities to, to kind of get going here. Uh, but first off, before we do that, I want to go ahead and do an enchantment or a couple. Let's see. Oop, that's not how you do things. All right, we're gonna do one. We're gonna pretty much do them one at a time because if I get fortune three on a pickaxe, we're gonna switch over to enchanting a shovel. That was terrible. That was the worst enchantment ever. Or should I just make a grindstone? Yeah, let's do that real quick. All right, so grindstone has been or crafted here. Let's go ahead and enchant this bad boy again. Silk touch, not really what I want. All right. Don't want that. Last one we got. And fortune two. We can combine it. I'm breaking, yep, perfect, fortune three, we got it on a pick, all right, so that is good news, we've, we've still got experience boost, which is amazing, all right, let's go ahead and clear out some of the area back here where we're going to be putting the mob farm, I've decided we're going to kind of put it back here into this building, or into this mountain area, so let me go ahead, I'm going to start clearing this out, and then we'll uh we'll we'll build the place. All right, so we got a little room cleared out over here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and even this out so I push this wall back, and then make this dual wide because this is too wide and I want this to be the same. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this way even, but then this way odd. So we can go ahead and put the spawner here. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and clear out a little room over here. Go ahead and do a time lapse of this one, and then we'll work on uh, setting up the blaze spawner. All right, so I didn't end up doing the, the time lapse here just because it's such a small room, because this is where we're actually going to be setting up the blazes to funnel into. Um, yeah, as you can see, getting experience from... <laughs> from that's a little OP. So what we're going to go ahead and do, um, so from here, right, we need to go up three blocks. Okay. And this is where we want to make the platform. 
So we want to have the spawner on at this block here. So we're going to go ahead and place that. Uh, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. And then we're going to clear this out. We're going to go up quite a few blocks. Um, so like well, I'll punch this out in between so we'll make this big room. We will definitely do a time lapse. But guys, this whole uh, experience boost, I've gone, I'm almost at level 30 just from mining. I haven't killed any. Oh, I killed one zombie. That's it. Like, this is ridiculously OP. All right, so let's get this far departed. All right, so we got the room all cleared out. As you can see, we kind of fought a little bit of gravel, but that is okay. Uh, so now what we need to go ahead and do is move the lights over to here. We're going to be working on the conveyor belts now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those placed. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll have all of these guys getting pointed over there, and then we'll just kind of do one of these. All right, so in case you guys were wondering, uh, in order to do this, you need a, a total of 10, 10 of those guys. Okay, so what we're going to do here, um, how am I, here we go, I got an idea. We got to be sneaky so we don't die. Okay, uh, so we're going to place one here. Uh, And then the other one here. All right. And here, here we go. Bam. Turn those guys down. All right, yep. And the reason we made them three tall, because if we would have just put the, the level here, uh, if there were too many in here, they would have been pushed out. But the fact that we have that extra block there means they kind of get stuck. Or they don't get stuck, but they get pushed in, no problem. Uh, so now we just sit here and do some slicing. Now, the cool thing about Blaze is that they give more experience normal than normal mobs. Uh, so I think Blaze give five while, like, Creepers, skeletons, zombies, I believe they only give uh, like 2.5 or 3. So these do give more, and I am happy about that. And check it out, we got a blaze head. But yeah, check it out, blaze rods, good a good way to farm experience. Uh, I do want to go ahead and check out that uh, plate that we saw earlier. We might be able to go ahead and kind of set this up automatically to, to AFK. So let's see here. What if we look up for mob? Player damage trap. 
Damages mobs that touch it with player. <gasps> oh, this is the one we want. Cyan die. Phantom membrane. Oof. Oof. Okay, so that is the goal for the future. Um, but let's see about the, that spike. Okay, iron spikes. Let's see what we got. We, we should be able to make that no problem. All right. And one piece of redstone. All right, let's see how this works. So it's powered by redstone. So let's go ahead and make a lever. All right, with the lever made and the trap made, let's go ahead on over here. We're going to put a door on this, by the way. And the cool thing is, is you can't really tell that this is even here. All right, so let's kill these guys. Trap there. Okay, so spikes are on. So there's no drops coming. Yeah, so we definitely want to kill a phantom. Because so we can kill a squid. Uh, so I guess we just need to kind of sit out here for a while and wait for a phantom to come out and play. Ooh, spider. Shouldn't take too long because I haven't slept in a while. All right, so unfortunately it looks like we're not going to get any phantoms spawning in tonight. Uh, we'll try again tomorrow night. Uh, but for the time being, um, our blaze farm has been set up. We got both of them running in there. It does produce them at quite a high rate. Honestly, a lot higher than I thought we were going to get them. So super excited about that. I went ahead and tried to re-roll the enchant on our sword. Didn't really get anything too good, unfortunately. But, yeah. Alright guys, so for the remainder of the video, we're going to be working with this mod called Tetra. Um, so we're going to go ahead, I have a rope. Um, let's see if this works at all. Binding. Nope, that doesn't go there. Uh, socket maybe? Nope, that's the gem. And it left it behind. So, uh, in order to open up these geodes here, we need a tier 2 hammer. And I'm not sure how to do that yet. Alright, guys. So, if we go ahead hit L here, we can go ahead hit the, the basic tinkering one. And it says, craft a double-sided diorite hammer. The diorite hammer provides tier 2 hammering capabilities. So, if we go here to hammer, doesn't pop up. But... We'll see if we can get that working. So I got die right here. And is it just like this? So we go one, two. Nope. Okay. Nope, I have to do that. Okay, so we got some string in here. 
So the string went on. That's pretty neat. All right, so definitely wants a diorite guy. Action requires another tier one hammer. Okay. Oh, look at that. Hey, wait a second. Do I need more diorite? Oh, I get it. We have to put it on both sides. So this side over here is wood mount. This side over here is a diorite hammer. Okay, okay. We made a diorite hammer. Perfect. All right, so we should be able to break open these geodes now. Yes, we got redstone, pristine lapis, normal lapis. We even got an emerald out of that. Perfect. Okay. So... Hammerhead. So when you hover over these, you can kind of see. Look, okay, so see how that one's highlighted? It means you can use it. So if you go like that, it's like, bam, you can use that. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, so we made a, a diorite hammer here. What happens if we have some diamonds in our inventory? Actually, let's check out the, the achievement book. So we got that, hammer two, crafted double-sided iron hammer, three hammering capabilities. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some iron. Okay, so hammer head. Oh, so it requires us to go ahead and upgrade our other hammer here. All right. Bam. There we go. And then let's upgrade this to iron. Bam, yep, that allowed us to. Bam, so we made an iron hammer here. Perfect. Very cool. So now we should be able to upgrade this one to iron as well. Yep. And then this one to iron. Huh, okay, so that's kind of weird. All right, so what does is, what is the instructions say now? Blackstone hammer. Okay, so we don't have any blackstone yet, so we're not going to be able to do that. Um, okay, so we need to go ahead and make a vanilla tool. So we're going to make an iron... Oh, we already have an iron tool. Perfect. Okay. Ironwood diorite. Not what we really want. Oh, so we can put emeralds on here. Faction requires a tier 3 hammer. You have a tier 3 hammer. Um. Okay. What about... This action requires a tier 3 hammer. You have a tier 3 available. Weird. Maybe because we don't have any bindings, it's having some problems. What about this? A binding. I don't have any more string, unfortunately. Um, can we replace the handle, though? 
With bone. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Destabilized Fortune One. That's a problem. Okay. Pickaxe head. Emerald. Oh, okay. Destabilized Fortune 2. Okay. Okay. What about binding? Do we have anything in here? No. Wait, can you use a blaze rod for a handle? Oh, you can. So let's see, it's got destabilized efficiency four. I don't know what that means. What the? Ah! It's a fix! Pickaxe. Okay, I need to do a lot more research into making pickaxes before I screw up everything else. <laughs> All right, guys, but that is going to wrap up the episode for today. We're going to go ahead and off camera, I'm going to be trying to find a phantom to come down here and so I can wreck him, wreck his face off. We'll see how that goes. Come here, zombie. Let's see, can we get one? No, you don't want to come down? That's okay. So anyways, guys, I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And guys, you know, I've asked you to, you know, to hit the like button and subscribe, but this one's a little different. Can I have you guys share this with your pals? Like, if all of you shared the video, like, that would be a crazy amount of people who could watch it. And if all of you shared it twice, could you imagine... Oh, man, sky's the limit with how many times we could uh, get this video viewed. So, anyways, guys, my request this episode is that you share the video if you don't mind with your pals. You don't even have to like it. You don't even have to subscribe. Please share it with your buddies if you did enjoy it. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.